My name is Catherine Bimesha, and I'm the founder and director of the Fellowship of Former Christian Scientists. And I'm so excited to have Kelsey Jensen here today, who's a, a friend and a co-laborer in the Fellowship of Former Christian Scientists. She serves on our leadership cohort, and um, it's just been a real joy to be able to walk together in faith and recovery the past few years. And I'm excited to have you all meet her. And um, just to begin with, I would just love to hear a little bit of um, your story, Kelsey, and how did you get connected with the FFCS? Sure, yeah. Uh, so I'm a fifth generation Christian scientist uh, on my dad's side. And I grew up in Christian science, felt really comfortable with it, and uh, came to faith in high school when I was invited to a, a Bible study. We went through First Peter and uh, just was introduced to the Bible in a way that I had an experience reading through a whole book and, uh, and just really got to see the, the big picture of, of what the Bible is saying. And um, so came to faith in, in high school and really started to walk with the Lord in college. And, um, and then I was introduced to FFCS actually through my brother because uh, my brother went to print with you. And, um, and he, when I came to faith, he said, Hey, you know, I, I know someone who's uh, started a ministry and I think you'd like to, to talk with her and y'all get along well. And he was right. <laughs> So, I've very enjoyed, true. Yeah, I've enjoyed uh, getting to know you and uh, and being a part of this ministry since then. That's been wonderful. Oh, that's awesome! What a great testimony! And uh, you know, I'm just so grateful for you um, leading a book study for us this past semester on Lee Strobel's uh, "The Case for Christ." And just wanted to hear a little bit about, you know, just how did that get started and. Um, you know, why did you choose this book and that sort of thing? Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, it actually wasn't initially started by me in the sense that uh, David Brunel is um, a, an active member of FFCS and um, a real dear, dear man. And he uh, has a, a huge heart for outreach and loving people. And so he's done this book study a couple of times. Uh, the outreach to people of different faiths and then uh, did one with specifically current Christian scientists, which I joined uh, with that one. And I had never read the book before I'd seen the movie and uh, but really got a lot out of it, even being, you know, a Christian for a long time. Uh, I really enjoyed the book and I felt like it clarified a lot of things. And with the pandemic, you know, a lot of things moved to Zoom and uh, a lot of people felt a lot more comfortable joining Zoom and doing things through Zoom. And so it allowed people to connect like I really have not seen before. And it was great for a book study, especially with people from all different time zones and across the country. We've been able to, you know, we did the first uh, book study with David um, and then I, I did this book study with uh, ex-Christian uh, scientists, former Christian scientists, um, recently. And it's just amazing. I mean, we met with people all over the country, and it was great because we could use Zoom to talk about the case for Christ. And um, uh, why that book? Well, you know, I felt like uh, there were several books that helped me leaving Christian science uh, to, to sort of identify things that were uh, challenging, moving from, you know, a faith that's very upside down version of, of just seeing things. So like, you know, physical things aren't real and uh, spiritualizing a lot of things. And so, you know, when you leave Christian science where you are used to seeing from a certain worldview um, and then you know, you, you're contemplating, well, there's a lot of people who leave and are thinking, well, is the Bible even something trustworthy? Is it something that I should even consider as a reliable source? Um, and that's a really important question to ask yourself, no matter who you are, just not to blindly 
you know, follow something. Um, I think it's important to have, you know, facts to back up whatever you believe. And, you know, for me, I, I, I was given a, a lot of evidence to support the fact that the Bible's claims about reality and, um, and just things in general, that it was a reliable source. And so what the case for Christ does is it helps to break down, you know, our, is there archaeological, archaeological evidence to support the claims of the Bible? Are there, uh, are there other evidence outside of biblical claims that help support that the Bible is a reliable source? There's just a lot in that book that helped to solidify the evidence that the Bible is a reliable source and that it's life changing. And so I feel like that's super crucial for anyone who's left Christian science because, you know, Christian leaving, leaving something that has such a different worldview, you just kind of question everything. Like what is true? What can I rely on? And I feel like, you know, the case for Christ is a really good job of pinpointing a lot of different areas to help walk through that and bring up some good discussions, which is why I like the, the book study in particular, you know, over zoom is because you can have conversations with people and, 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 and meet their questions where they are rather than, you know, assuming things, uh, which I really enjoyed that aspect. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it really touches upon things that people coming out of Christian science really need to face and think about um, just in, you know, is the scripture reliable? And right. and it's hard to do that alone sometimes, right? Like, I think, you know, that is that like walking together with other people in talking through these really important um, parts of faith? Um, doing that in community is really important. Is that, you know, I mean, like, because you could just read that book on your own. So why would someone maybe like want to join a, a book study, I guess, um, in, like this one? Totally. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think having people to talk with who are not <laughs> gonna, you know, bash you over the head with something because you know i i've um, experienced people who don't really want to hear what you have to say and don't want to don't want to be uh thoughtful about things but what i loved about our book study is that everyone felt super safe we had people in there who were not christians who who communicated over and over that they were just very thankful for the welcoming environment to be able to question and not feel dumb or not feel like they're being judged, not feel like, you know, they're being pressured. And so I love, I love that the community that we have with FFCS and with the XCS group that, you know, you can get together and, and start from, you know, just let's look at this together. Let's have a healthy discussion, you know, that people are welcome to, to talk about and let's look at what's there. Let's look at the facts. Let's talk about it. And, and I, I think everyone really benefited from that. And, you know, what I loved about particularly our group is that, you know, we kind of took it a little slower. So we had some detours to talk about things that people needed, wanted to talk about that, you know, I didn't do in our other group, but for the, the XCS and former CS, they had specific questions that it was so fun to be able to delve in those things and address specific questions that they had, you know, in a non-threatening environment, you know, where we could just walk through it together and having people who have a wealth of knowledge. I mean, they're just some brilliant people in our group that were able to shed a lot of light that even I was like, this is so helpful. Like just being able yeah. to have people there that, hmm. that have walked through, you know, questioning whether the Bible was a reliable source and then and then finding good answers and then having resources to point people to is just so valuable. It's just it was really a wonderful experience for me and for them, I think. Yeah. Well that just sounds great. Um you know, I'm also interested, you know, like you've done you've read this book now a couple times. Was there something that really stuck out to you this time as you read through it and, and just from the discussions, maybe something that kind of came out 
of just this this go around with this group? Sure. Yeah. Uh, several things. So, you know, when you're no matter what you're doing, when you're reading it with a different audience, it has a different <laughs> you just experience different things. So like at the beginning, one of the things that was a key thing was, you know, looking at making sure that everyone because Mary Baker Eddy redefines things um, <clears throat> that, you know, people who hadn't been around, you know, regular Christian talk, like Lee Strobel says things that that can be really confusing if you haven't been around like a church community outside of Christian science. And so one of the things we did initially was talk about, you know, what what things mean in a normal Christian context, like outside of CS versus CS. And that was such a great clarifying thing. Um, and then, you know, other things that we addressed that I just, you know, that were brought up in my heart to talk about, you know, were things that like, why, <laughs> why are we reading this book? <laughs> like, basically, you know, when we look at the case for Christ, why is it important that Jesus died? Like, because he's focusing on, you know, Jesus's death and resurrection. Are those, you know, are the gospels reliable? And is Jesus's death and resurrection, is it true? And if so, what does that have to do with us? And so, you know, when you walk through uh, looking at Jesus's sacrifice on the cross and like the physical nature of it, where he had to shed his blood, like the, the Bible is clear that without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. And like why that's so important for a believer that he had to die and shed his blood, um, you know, that was something that I wanted to clarify because coming out of Christian science where you just are denying the physical existence altogether and the necessity for, you know, a, a death on a cross. I mean, that's something Mary Baker Eddy was, you know, said it's not, it's not important. It's, it's his death on the cross is not sufficient for anything, you know, and that's, that's the opposite of what the Bible says. So like, if you, if you look at it, then you see, okay, what does the blood have to do with anything? So one of the things at the end that I, you know, wanted to talk about was, you know, why blood sacrifices, why Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice, why that was important. And, you know, that's a really, like, I just, it's kind of a tough topic. Like I, I just coming out of CS, you're like, Ugh, I just don't want to talk about that. Like that just like blood and like the physical nature of things is kind of like, you know, nails on a chalkboard when you're mm -hmm. constantly trying to deny that, you know? And mm -hmm. so, Anyway, it was just a really interesting conversation to like pinpoint, okay, why, why is this book important? Like, why is Jesus' sacrifice important? You know, which is the ultimate like purpose of Christianity is, you know, without Jesus living a perfect life and dying for us, you know, we, we don't get heaven. We don't have our sins paid for. That's, that's the point of, of, of what the Bible's pointing to is Jesus's ultimate sacrifice because he loves us. And so anyway, it was just, that was kind of a, a, a thing at the end that, that really wasn't in the book necessarily. I mean, it was in the book, but it was not like explained particularly to a Christian science audience that mm -hmm. I know just kind of like cringes at that topic of just blood in general. Um, yeah. I know I did. So uh, oh, me too. Uh, so, so anyway, I just felt like that was super helpful to walk through and, you know, the other people in the group just were like, yeah, that, that was really helpful to think about. Like, I just, I, I don't want to think about that very much. Yeah. So yeah, it was, it was, it was really, uh, I, you know, God kind of leads you to talk about things and I really felt led to, to talk about it. And I'm glad that we did. So. 
Yeah, that just sounds just amazing. And it's just so, um, so important to be walking together with other former Christian scientists in that way, other people who understand who are going to have the same struggles with things that maybe other people might not totally understand. So that just sounds really powerful and meaningful. And, and uh, thanks for leading, leading that group. And this, this group is going to um, continue in the fall um, with uh, Linda Kramer um, uh, talking about, um, her book, uh, Perfect Peril. So hopefully this group will continue. And, um, you know, if someone, if you're interested in joining, um, this book study, we'd love to invite, invite you to, um, participate in the fall. And, uh, um, yeah, well, thank you, Kelsey. Thank you for, um, uh, being with us today, sharing um, your heart for this group and also just what happened um, this past semester. And um, I'm excited to hear about next semester and what all um, what all happened. So yeah, thanks so much for being here today. Sure. I, I, I love it. This is this is a joy. It's fun to it really is so fun to meet people from all over the world and see the different how the different experiences kind of collide together and and supporting one another. I feel very supported myself in the group. So it's just, yeah. it's really just been such a great benefit to me and to so many people. Thank you for, for starting it. Oh, <laughs> <I really appreciate laughs> oh praise God for um, what he's doing and bringing us together and bringing us together even in through virtual means like this. I mean, it just is really such a blessing and, uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, it's a blessing to to walk with you, friend. And thanks again for sharing today. So yeah, um, definitely. We'll, we'll talk to you soon. Okay. <laughs>